I see it every day at practice. They're having fun, flying around, making plays on the ball. So really excited about what they've been able to do so far at this point in training camp. Urban sounded very excited uh, to, to that same level uh, the other day. What is it you're seeing that you like, other than just enthusiasm? Are you seeing maybe execution, maybe a little, still two weeks two weeks away from the season, are you seeing maybe execution at a, at a fairly high level? Yeah, well, it starts with the effort. It's a great effort to, on every single play. Our guys are flying around. Uh, they know the system, they know the calls, they're playing fast, they're getting to the ball, they're making plays on the ball, and they're doing it consistently, play in and play out, and that's the, the great thing to watch. I know you've had Navy period uh, in, in most of the practices, I presume. Just about preparing for a unique offense like that, versus trying to get everybody ready to play more typical style of offense you're going to face the rest of the year. Yeah, it, it's a challenge, no doubt. Uh, Navy's a very well-coached football team. The triple option schemes that they run are unique and different to anybody else we're going to play on the schedule. You could go four or five years and never play a team like that. And to be able to, to get the defense ready for two different styles of, of offenses is a challenge, really three different styles. We've got a spread, a pro style, and a triple option style we're trying to get ready for in the first few weeks of the season. So it is a challenge. The guys have done an outstanding job with it. Uh, we've maximized our time. Uh, when we focused on Navy, we, we focused on pro style or, or played our offense as a spread. So uh, we've gotten a lot done in a short amount of time. We've got a long way to go, but I like where we're at right now. Chris, have you found your second corner? I even seem to think. We're still looking the other day. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have candidates. We've identified who the candidates are. Uh, we've had a few guys that have, that have missed some practice time here recently, so nothing's set in stone yet. That's what this week we really have to identify, you know, who's going to be another uh, a corner, who's going to be our starting free safety, and, and those things will sort itself out this week. Could you update us on the, on the safety situation? It sounds like Tyvis is a pretty secure, at strong safety. What about the free, free safety? Uh, right, right now, Tyvis is playing at the, the strong safety position. Cam Burrows and T Von Bell have a great competition going at the free safety position. Both of those guys are, are outstanding every single day. It's going to be a tough call as we come down a stretch. Obviously, you can only start 11 guys and only one of them is going to be able to start, but they're all three going to play a, a, a good number of reps. What's the role going to be for the safeties in this defense? Obviously, you weren't here last year, but compared to what you saw from them last year? Well, I can't speak to last year, but they're going to be the, the generals of our defense. I mean, they're guys that are going to have to get everybody lined up. They're going to have to make adjustments when the formation changes, whether by shift or motion. Uh, and they're going to have to make a lot of plays. They're going to be involved in a run game if the, the you know number two wideout cracks the back or they got to trigger and play the run.